Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, good day all. Today we are going to look at uh, some questions and this is for CTM first question paper from AVU and it is standard and uh, let's just look at some questions on that is. The question said a secondary or a second alkanol. I think the question here trying to say a secondary alkanol can be oxidized to give an A, alkanon b alkyne c alkanoic acid d alkanol so if we now look at these four options they are all class of organic compounds with different functional group and let's just look at the functional group so the question said the secondary alkanol so number one what is the functional group of alkanol? Alkanol have a functional group of ROH. So when A by you see ROH, this indicates the functional group of uh, alkanol. The, the R here stands for alkyl group. And we know that alkyl group, they are also a member of organic group that come as a result of uh, reduction of one hydrogen from alkene. So that is alkyl. And what of alkanol? Alkanol, alkanon, that is option A, they have a functional group of R O R. So it has to contain a carbonyl group. A carbonyl group is a carbon that have carbon to oxygen double bond. And then we have alkanoic acids, and the functional group of alkanoic acid is RCOOH. Then we have alkanal. The functional group of alkanal is RCHO. So this is the functional group of uh, this. Then we also have alkyne. What are alkyne? Alkyne are class of organic compound that have carbon to carbon triple bond that is between a carbon to carbon they usually have a triple bond then so the, now the next thing is what is a secondary alkanol how do we classify uh secondary alkanol is also simple um the way we do it normally is uh, we classify it using uh using the position of uh, hydrogen group, hydrogen uh, hydrogen atoms in different point. This is this is assuming now we have our carbon here, we have our carbon here. So if we have carbon here, um, that is a central carbon. This is the central carbon. So we have a central carbon like this, and we have, of course, OH group. Remember we said. OH group is always an indicator of a second uh, of uh, alkanol. This is their functional group. So if we have another hydrogen here, another hydrogen here, then we also have, let's see, another hydrogen here, and also another hydrogen here, something like this. So you see. We have three atoms of hydrogen attached at three different position. So this one is called primary alkanol. That is 1.0, we call it primary alkanol. But if we have, let's see, a carbon, uh, alkyl group here, let's say something like this, we have another, we have CH3 here, we can also, call it, uh, it's, it's also regarded as a secondary alkanol. So they are primary alkanol, so are all the same, they are all the same. And if we have, let's say another CH3 here, CH3, something like this. So this is, we have three metal group attached to the central carbon. So this one is considered as, we call this one as secondary alkanol. That is 
power zero we call it secondary alkanol so now the question is saying a secondary alkanol can be oxidized to give an a alkanon alkyne alkanoic acid and alkanal so now what is oxidation first oxidation is a process whereby a hydrogen atoms are removed from a group or oxygen atoms are removed from the group. So now if we have, uh, if we now have oxidation in this, in this, the whole of this compound, that is from the whole of this compound. Uh, so it means that we, if one hydrogen atoms from here is removed, and these also hydrogen atoms removed from here. So it means that we we'll now have oxygen to carbon double bond, something like this. So we see, remember from what we said about the functional group of alkanon. The functional group of alkanon is R, R, C, O, R. And from here, we can see that we have two different alkyl group. This one is alkyl group, and this one is also alkyl group. So look at this one. This one is also alkyl group, and this one is also alkyl group. And we have CO, that is carbon to oxygen double bond. So in organic chemistry, whenever we have carbon to oxygen double bond, so that is usually called carbonyl compound. So alkanon is a carbonyl compound. So we see from the secondary alkanol, it's now oxidized by removing two atoms of hydrogen from the secondary alkanol to obtain alkanone. And in other words, we call it ketones. We call it ketones, okay?